Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So it's finally here, the moment we've all been waiting for. Ahsoka is here. The first two episodes have released and I'm very excited. And I know everyone else is very excited as well. I am a huge fan of Rebels. Rebels is probably my favorite uh, like media in all of Star Wars. I have this big obsession and huge adoration for the show and for all the characters and I am just so excited that we get to see them again in live action for the first time. Like, that's freaking incredible. I never thought this would ever happen. Like, when I was watching, like, the release of Rebels Season 4, you know, I thought that was it. I thought that was over, you know? Once that finished, I was like, well, no more of that, I guess. And, you know, that was... That was... Yeah, that... I am very excited to see where this goes. Before we get into it, though, I will sort of I, I i like to sort of speculate on things and give my theories beforehand but i also am always too scared to because i don't want to like be wrong and embarrass myself but i just want to give a few little things that i would like to happen or that i think might happen or you know just my little thoughts and theories um so can't see i'm currently wearing my uh callus necklace because i am manifesting that my boy will appear because we've had zeb in the mandalorian and you know as we know obviously callus is a sh like almost a big part of the you know the rebels crew as everyone else like he was a very big help and obviously him and zeb went off together clearly got married you know all that kind of stuff um and if you try to say that it's fake, even Dave Filoni and Steve Blum have basically confirmed it without confirming it. So, yeah, there's that. I do also have my uh, Callus and Zeb shrine. I have Callus here, Zeb here, and then there's a little mini version here. A little Callus here. It's really hard to see. And a Zeb here. And then my little Lego Callus and Zeb. Um, so I am, I am manifesting um, that they will appear um i i'm like completely decked out at the minute like i got my ahsoka necklace on i've got like a, a like an orange and white shirt on i've got my thrawn tattoo so i'm ready for thrawn i've got my fulcrum tattoo i love rebels guys i'm so fucking excited um but yeah another thing that i want to talk about as well is uh the magistrate so morgan elsbeth has been rumored to be dathomirian and people are like oh i think she's a night sister blah 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 i've said this so many times um, like since we first sort of met her, um, I don't think she's a night sister. I think that she could be Dathomirian. Like I would love her to be Dathomirian, but I think that this could be a good opportunity for them to introduce a new clan of witches. So night sisters are not a race; they're a clan. They are a clan of witches of Dathomir. There was a bunch of different clans in Legends, um, and the only canon clan that we have is the night sisters. So I think it'd be a good opportunity for them to bring in a new clan. They also was, a, you know, witches of Dathomir that just weren't the Night Sisters because they existed. They were a thing, just not in canon. Um, so if she's a Night Sister, fucking wonderful. Um, I don't think she is. I, like I said, I think and hope that she is a different clan of, uh, of witch, which would be really, really cool. Um, so yeah, and also the Night Sisters are, uh, they're like, obviously, like I said, that's their clan, but the their race is half Zabrak, half human. Um, so that's why they don't have like the horns or anything and you know, all that kind of stuff. But I'm very enthusiastic about the Night Sisters. If you guys didn't already know that about me, uh, which most of you already do, but um, yeah, I think that's gonna happen. I think Ezra probably won't show up until like the end of the last episode. I feel like it's gonna be like a an entire season of like, warming up to that i don't really think that he's gonna appear um and i i don't know if he's gonna be what we expect i i feel like he's had a lot of opportunities to turn to the dark the dark side and he has been very close he has been very very close but i think he is strong enough at this point that he won't so i at this point i don't know if he's gonna have like turned or if he's gonna be pretending to have turned or, you know, whatever. But I still feel like we might not see him until, like, the last episode, at least. Uh, I could be wrong. Who knows? Um, but they haven't really teased a lot of him yet. Um, so, yeah. And I like I said, I hope we see Callus. I hope we see Zeb. Um, I'm just nervous, man. I'm actually, like, I'm excited, but I'm really nervous at the same time. 
Um, but yeah, I guess we should probably get into it. I don't know if there was any other, like, theories or, like, I, I want Rex to show up, obviously. I think that'd be a really, really cool opportunity as well. But we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not gonna get my hopes too high for anything or whatever, even though I already have got my hopes too high with Callus. But, you know, that's fine. He's just my favorite character, you know? It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> guys, I'm so nervous! Ah! I don't think you guys are ready for the person I will become if Callus is actually in this. Like, if he appears or even gets name-dropped, I will be a completely different person. I hope you're, like, ready for that. Like, I fucking love Callus so fucking much, and I will not shut up about him. I feel like I'll be really disappointed if he doesn't show up, but, you know, hey-ho, it is what it is. All right, well, let's get into it, I guess. I'm so scared, guys. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, and we get to see David Tennant. I forgot about that. Well, not see him. We get to hear David Tennant. I'm, I'm on a David Tennant obsession as well, so there's that too. The evil galactic empire has fallen and a new republic has risen to take its place. However, sinister agents are already at work to undermine the fragile peace. This is such a cool intro, what the hell? The plot is underway to find the lost Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn and bring him out of exile. Once presumed dead, rumors are spreading of Thrawn's return, which would gal galvanize the Imperial remnants to start another war. Former Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano she was never knighted, was she? Captured one of Thrawn's allies and learned of a secret map which is vital to the enemy's plan. Ahsoka now searches for the map as her prisoner, Morgan Elsbeth, is transported to the New Republic for trial. I love this intro, that's so cool, man. What the hell? Ah, this is Star Wars, baby! God, I can't believe we're getting Thrawn in live action. I can't fucking believe it, man. I'm so hyped. Never thought this day would ever arrive. The Jedi. Say again? The signal is an old Jedi clearance code. Is it gonna be school and Hattie? Dude, that ship is so fucking cool. There they are. Put on a good show, but uh, I don't buy it. I don't understand. You're no Jedi. Just some overconfident Imperial trash who just pushed their luck too far. Uh, you might want to be careful what you're saying. And you, sir, should have surrendered when the Empire collapsed. Jacris, allow me to show you our identification. <laughs> Yeah, you fucked up. Oh, the music. You're right about one thing, Captain. We are no Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so cool. Holy shit. Oh, this is so fucking badass, dude. I love how intimidating he is. I'm so sad his actor's not here to fucking witness this, man. I'm so sad. Rest in peace. Ahsoka Tano. <laughs> Dude, what a fucking intro. Holy shit. Master and a friend. I have goosebumps. I have so many goosebumps. There she is. There's our queen. Oh! Fucking badass. I feel like this is another access point, possibly, to the world between worlds, because it's a very similar mural to the father, son, and daughter. Like, moving the hands and stuff. Give me something inside it. A key, a holocron, a ball. Yes, I found it. I'm not an 
God, she portrays Ahsoka so well. Way to lower their numbers, man. Oh my god, I can't believe Hu Yang's in this, man. What the fuck? No, you won't keep going. Holy fuck, that's some big explosions. Good god. That has a huge area of effect. If you didn't keep at such a safe distance, maybe we wouldn't have lost communication. <gasps> There's a gonk! General Sandula. Ah! It's good to see you. And you. Though I wish it were under more pleasant circumstances. Oh, she looks so pretty. I'm afraid we've lost your prisoner. I've prepared a briefing to get you caught up. Just I'm just looking around for mutton chops. Unfortunately. Oh man. Starman. Not just any Starman. I wonder if we get to see Jason. This one holds the secret Morgan's after. If Thrawn survived, does that mean Ezra? I hope so. Nothing is certain. This, this monument, monument we dedicate here today stands in recognition of Commander Bridger and the rebel leaders. Of I'm gonna cry. Stop, Stop the mural. May their courage Stop. And never be forgotten. <laughs> Commander Sabine Wren. Awkward. Sabine Wren. While, While we wait. wait Commander Ren's arrival. Allow me to introduce Senator Jai Kel, who will share with us. Jai Kel. <laughs> Find her now. Wait, is that Ryder? We've got Jai, and we've got—is that—is that Ryder? Because that's Clancy Brown, right? Oh, Lothal, stop! <laughs> Oh, the little cat on her helmet. Well, here's a new order. Get lost. Can't do that. Y'all gonna really mess with the Mandalorian? Good lord. She is insane. I love her. He's like, yeah, there's no point. <laughs> Bippy! Hey. Hi. Hey, Sabine. Ah! Sorry for disappearing on you. We're not really family. But you're like a sister. Oh my god, he looks so cool. Holy shit. An ancient temple built by my ancestors. The night sisters of Dathomir. Ah! <laughs> Holy fuck! You're a witch. survivor oh, yes baby okay so they went with the night sisters not a different clan but i'm okay with that Fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> another night sister baby let's go first night sister in live action represent he has it. Oh! <laughs> what if she does you're lucky 
I'm intrigued as to why she only has one little tattoo. But I fucking love her outfit. Holy shit. They fucking confirmed it. They did it. I'm very intrigued by this Inquisitor as well. I like his lightsaber. Oh, I'm so glad they got Huyang in here, man. That's insane. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep talking about how excited I am about every little detail. Like, we got fucking Ryder, man! I'm glad they got Clancy to do it as well. That's awesome. I'm gonna need that scan. Can I take this? Where are you going? Somewhere I can think more clearly. The map stays here. Okay. She's gonna take it anyway, isn't she? She's You're going to gonna be right? gone. Yep. You should know about her by now, Ahsoka. <laughs> you know what she's like. But what if she, like, ends up meeting Sabine and then realizes, holy shit, she is pretty, and then they fall in love, and then they don't hurt each other, and then everything will be fine. And they find Ezra together. <laughs> Bibi. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. <laughs> Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him. I'm a Jedi. I won't leave you. Not this time. <laughs> I'm intrigued as to what happened between them. What do we do then? World between worlds! Oh, shit. Oh, whoa! Holy shit. Is the gear going on? Is the gear going on? Oh. Oh, the lightsaber. We've been looking for this. That's too bad. Man, I love her outfit. So cool. I love her design in general. It's awesome. Like her arm braces look shiny like Beskar. I doubt they are Beskar, but they look shiny enough to be Beskar. It's pretty cool. Remember your training, Sabine. You use the dark saber, you can use this saber. For sure. Oh, that stunts. God damn. Come on, so good. Oh, that cape was slick. Good lord. I mean, she didn't get any of the vital organs, but fucking hell, that must 
burn. Fuck. Not the end of the episode? Holy shit. Oh, this font is cool. Oh, this music. Oh my god, I'm tearing up. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is beautiful. God, they went all out for this show, didn't they? That is Dave Filoni's baby. He's not gonna let this disappoint at all. Like, that man is putting his whole Filoni oozy into this. Why? Why am I like this? Why did I say that? And our boy Kevin Kiner is back. Okay, so that was a hell of a strong first episode. That was a great way to introduce the characters, to set up the plot for finding Ezra, to introduce the new characters, uh, Skull and Hattie. Um, that was insane. Like, that was so fucking good. And we got the name drops of Thrawn and Ezra. Um, we got... Uh, confirmation that Morgan Elizabeth is a night sister. So obviously I said at the beginning I was hoping she would be a different clan. Um, but she still could have been from a different clan. Who knows? But um, it's just very interesting that they decided to go with a very small face tattoo for the first ever night sister in live action. I'm a little dis a little bit disappointed in that. I know that's not really something to complain about, but I am slightly as a as a night sister enthusiast, I am slightly disappointed that her face marking is just a little thing up here. It doesn't feel night sistery enough, but maybe she wasn't in the clan for long enough. Maybe she maybe she wasn't fully in the clan herself. Like she said that her ancestors were the night sisters. So I have no idea the exact kind of situation offer so maybe there is a reason that she doesn't have the whole face tattoos and stuff um and obviously at the minute she doesn't seem to have her magic otherwise she would have she would have used her magic against ahsoka uh unless maybe she didn't want to reveal that she was a witch but i know that they can you know lose their ability to wield their magic um and they can relearn it and get back into that and stuff so we'll see how that goes um i know that obviously ezra did uh, kind of kill the ghosts, uh, the Night Sister ghosts in Rebels, uh, which wasn't very good of him when uh, he's currently about to go against the Night Sister. But it's really cool that we have one in live action, um, and I'm, you know, I'm really glad that that's a thing. Um, and yeah, I think they've casted everyone perfectly. Hera looks great. Sabine looks great. Uh, Ezra looked great for all of what we saw of him. Ahsoka obviously looks wonderful. Hu Yang. What a legend. Can't believe he, they, you know, he's back. And, you know, it's good that he's there because he can help with the lightsabers and, you know, all that kind of stuff. That was really, really awesome. Uh, we have Ryder back as well. And he seems to have filled out his beard a little bit more instead of just having the little chin beard. Um, but, yeah, he looked absolutely awesome when they got, obviously, uh, Clancy Brown back to do that. So it's got the same voice. Um, and jay was in there as well like he was from rebels like him and ezra helped each other you know escape the imperial cadets and stuff um jai did i say jay jai jai kel jai i don't know what i said i'm my, my brain is mush at the minute because i'm so excited over this um but yeah the, there was a lot in that a lot of a lot of rebels references um but it's also i i can see that this could definitely be viewed by people who haven't seen Rebels as well. Like, they've done well enough to describe the characters and explain the sort of situation and stuff that they're in. And I'm I'm here for it. I love it. The music was beautiful as well. The intro was beautiful. Everything is just perfect. Like, it's so freaking good. But yeah, I'm just I'm just glad to see that we have another uh another witch that survived the Battle of Dathomir because like we the, they have the ability. I know I keep going back to the Night Sisters, I'm sorry, but we have the ability to introduce not too many, but it's kind of same as the Jedi. Like, you can introduce new ones without, like, ruining the plot or, you know, you know, whatever, retcon and things. Because there was multiple survivors that did survive the Battle of Dathomir, and we don't know who all of them were. And, you know, there could have been someone on the other side of the, the planet or, you know, someone who hid away or someone who was off planet while the battle was happening. And, you know, we have 
um, you know, Marin got introduced, and obviously people like Mother Talzin, uh, Ventress, uh, I can't remember their names, Shellish, I think, um, Yana, and I think there was a couple more. I think there was at least five. Before Marin, I think there was around five named survivors. Um, and then obviously Marin got introduced, and now Morgan Elsbeth has been introduced, and then my night nice sister OC is definitely gonna become canon. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm just I'm just honestly really glad, and hopefully we get more of a a look into the ancestors, like into the like older clans. Like this still could introduce the older clans of witches. Um, but I'm I'm very excited to see where this leads. Can't wait for the second episode. I wasn't expecting Sabine to get stabbed through the fucking chest or stomach with a lightsaber. Not expecting that at all. So she's gonna need time to recover. Um, and the mural was beautiful. Like seeing Kanan on there and Zeb. Where is Zeb? Where is Callus? Where's Jason? I'm still I'm I'm still very intrigued to see if we're gonna see Jason and Sindula. So I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I've rambled so much in this episode. Um, but I'm so over the moon and so happy. And I hope you guys are happy too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video because episode two is also out. So I'm gonna go react to that. And yeah, peace. Um, may the force be with you.